Hello everyone, I'm Chris Petty from DubSpot in New York City. In this tutorial, we'll be exploring three possibilities or usages for the new Pulverizer effect processor in Reason 6. Pulverizer is a multi-purpose device that allows you to add compression, distortion, filtering, and tremolo to your sounds. It also allows for parallel processing, so you can mix the dry signal with the heavily processed sound. I would describe it as adding a new level of body and dimension to the sounds that it's applied to. In this first example, I'm going to apply it to a simple sub-bass sound included in the Reason Factory Sound Bank. Let's start by creating an instance of Thor. We'll load in the patch Low Simple Sign from the Bass folder. I will give you fair warning though that to really get the full experience of what the pulverizer will do to low bass sounds, you must be listening on a system that can properly output low bass frequencies. Let's audition and listen to the sound. As you can hear, it's already pretty solid and thick. So what I'm going to do next is create an instance of Pulverizer, which will auto-route to Thor's output connecting the two. Starting on the left-hand side of it, we will be first looking at the compression area. Squash is merely the compression amount. As I turn the dial to the right, the signal becomes more compressed or flattened. For finding the right amount, I'm going to go on the best tools that I have, my ears. Below squash is a release knob. This controls how long the compressor stays active for before it releases the signal back to its original state. Dirt allows me to add distortion to the compressed signal and I'm just going to make some adjustments until it sounds right. Below dirt is a tone control knob that allows me to shave some of the high frequencies off the dirty processed sound. Next we have the filter section. Here you will see filter types that are familiar if you have worked with Subtractor and Maelstrom before. There's a low pass 24 dB, a low pass 12 notch, a band pass 12, a high pass 12, and a comb filter. At the bottom, we have dials for filter frequency and peak, also known as resonance. I'm just going to make some adjustments to taste. If we look down at the bottom on the left, we can see that I can select between two possible routing schemes of squash, dirt, filter, or filter, squash, dirt. I'm just going to switch up between the two and make a decision as to which one sounds best for my purposes here. Okay, squash, dirt, filter it is. So we've now processed the sub bass patch. Let's take a look over on the right hand side and we can see the dry wet blend dial. I think that this is one of Pulverizer's most endearing features. It allows me to blend the completely processed compressed signal with the dry signal. Finally, I'm going to balance my master volume to match my original level so that the sound is not too loud. I will A-B it with the bypass control on the left. As you can hear, the difference is pretty noticeable. The bottom end has gotten heavier and the overall sound has gotten fatter and bigger. In this next example, I'm going to take a synth lead patch from the Reason 6 factory sound bank. I will go to the Create Instrument option and this time I'll go to the Subtractor folder. I'm going to go into the Monosynth folder and I will load a patch called Electrolux. Thank <laughs> you. 
As you can hear, it's quite an abrasive lead sound that could be used in a number of different electronic music styles. Let's plug it into a pulverizer. I'm just going to make some quick changes with the compressor and filter sections. Next, we'll take a look at the tremor section. This is essentially a tremolo, but offers a slew of other tricks it can do. Let's apply tremor to volume. I could apply it to filter if I wanted to also, but for this example, I'm just going to apply it to the volume. I can tempo sync the rate of the tremor, but for my purposes here, I'm going to leave it in free rate. I can also switch the control waveform, but I will leave it on sine wave. Next, I'm going to hit the spread button, which will make the tremolo pan left and right based off of what control waveform I use. I'm now going to balance the dry and wet signal so that the sound isn't constantly moving hard left or hard right. Finally, I'm going to balance the level of my process signal against my dry signal. I will use the bypass controls and my master volume to do this. As you can hear, the pulverizer has added a new degree of animation, dimension, and body to this lead synth sound. For the final example, we are going to play with the envelope follower on the pulverizer to add some motion to a pad or texture sound. I'm going to call up another instance of Thor and load a pad sound from the factory sound bank called Half-Life. Let's take a quick listen. Next, I'll connect up a pulverizer. There are a number of uses for the envelope follower inside the pulverizer and also when connected to any other device in the rack. In this example, I'm going to use the envelope follower to control the tremor rate based on incoming volume level. Let's listen to the sound as I increase the tremor amount to volume. I'm also going to use the spread for a wider signal. Next, I am going to apply tremor rate to be controlled by the envelope follower. So in a nutshell, when the volume of the sound is louder, the tremor rate will speed up. I have a threshold volume control for the follower and attack and release controls as well. Let's listen as I make some changes.
Remember, we have a dry wet control to balance the processed and dry signals so I can create a nice blend. Let's take a quick listen to the sound as I make the adjustments. So, there you have it. Three cool uses for the pulverizer, and this is just a little bit of what it can do. Hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, take care, and keep making music. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.